Hi, my name is Christine Watts, and I wanted to take a couple minutes to tell you about my honors capstone project. First off, a capstone is a project required by honor students here at Radford, and it's an independent study typically done in the senior year. The basic requirements is that it must be meaningful and have wider implications. Because I've dealt with hearing loss for several years, I wanted to do a residential space that allowed someone who does suffer from hearing loss of any kind of degree a space where they feel safe and comfortable and apart from their disability. First, I wanted to go into a little bit of the research that I had to do in order to complete this project. My two main points in designing the space were understanding how people with hearing loss react to sound waves, particularly reverberation and echo, and knowing that these needed to be diminished, as well as addressing the psychological attributes of hearing loss, which typically include people being unwilling to acknowledge or feeling stigmatized that they have this disability. A large component of this design was space planning and designing the, spa the physical space itself so that it would would provide comfort to the resident without providing too much stresses. Steps to do this included making a very open space that would allow the residents to rely on their, vis on their visual senses rather than their auditory senses, as well as treating the physical space in such a way that sound would not be too likely to travel, such as allowing angled walls for the sound to bounce off of or be and be absorbed and dividing the space up vertically so that the sound waves are trapped in these vertical spaces. Material choices were an even larger part of their design and were chosen with great discrimination, especially for their sound absorption qual qualities. This included softer materials applied to the floor, including cork flooring and carpeting, which would be more likely to absorb the sound than a hardwood, and extended to choosing acoustical panels and soft, cushiony furniture that would absorb noise better. In the ceiling treatment, coffered ceilings were placed strategically in areas that would provide more sound than others. The acoustical panels were an important aspect of the space and were a large reason for the angled walls. They're placed directly opposite many of the sound sources, meaning that they absorb the sound waves rather than letting them travel throughout the sound throughout the space. The coffered ceilings offer not only an opportunity for a great visual feature, but serve as a way to trap the noise within spaces, particularly the living room, the dining room, and the kitchen, all of which serve as very high-level noise spaces. With these ceilings, the sound waves are trapped and forced to stay in that space, rather than traveling throughout the home and providing confusion for the residents. Thank you for listening, and I hope you enjoy the show!